GRT at the time of this recording is seeing a very nice bounce to the upside after bouncing above the 20 day MA here on the 1 hour chart and also after bouncing on a key area of support above the 0 0.1882 and the next key area of resistance that we need to see a break above lies above the 0 0.2118 and this is all playing out after we saw a bit of a breakdown move after seeing the formation of a double top here on the charts after we attempted to break above resistance at the 0 0.21 the 0 0.2219 with no success and a double bottom is a chart is a bearish chart pattern that breaks to the lower side whose minimum target areas to the 0 0.1766 we almost fully maximized and on today's video, I will be discussing an additive structure that is playing out here on the charts and also discuss my long-term price prediction analysis. So starting the video here on the daily chart to first give you my long-term price prediction analysis, you can all see that from the loss that we made last year in September, we saw a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that gave us a high above the 0 0.4947 in a move that I'm terming as this ADO12 count one. And after we topped in that ADO12 count one, we started a bit of a breakdown move in an ADO12 count two, whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the Fibonacci's from the lows that we made last year in September to the highs that we made above the 0 0.4947, giving me a minimum pullback target area between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.618 which is an area we fully maximized and at some point we lost the FIB level 0 0.618 making me extend the target areas to the FIB level 0 0.78 which is another key area of support which perfectly lies above the 0 0.167 and after we fully maximized this blue target area over here that now gives us the likelihood that there are high chances that we could have now bottomed out in this ADO12 count too. And in the next coming months or maybe weeks, we can start a very nice bounce to the upside in an ADO12 count 3, whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that ADO12 count 1, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the FIB level 1.618, which perfectly lies above the 0 0.8279. Then we can expect a wave 4 and then continue gearing up even higher in that ADO12 count 5 in a move that can easily get us back above the dollar mark. So that is what I'm expecting on the long term. Getting back to the one hour chart to now give you my short term price prediction analysis still based on the ADO12 structures. Here there is an ADO12 structure that I had been tracking since the 5th of July, where I said to you that we first topped in an ADO12 count 1, we saw a corrective structure in an ADO12 count 2, then a wave 3, a wave 4, and the minimum target areas for the fourth wave were given using the Fibonacci, and I marked the areas using this blue target area which is an area we fully maximized and at some point we saw a break of this blue target area to the lower side and as a result of that I now don't have faith in this ADO12 structure that we have over here and alternatively I have a new ADO12 structure where we can term this movement since the 5th of July as a 1-2 setup over here so we can have this as a 1-2 setup and after completing the 1-2 setup, we continued to see the ADO12 structures where we can term these as a wave 1. Then this is the second wave. And whatever is playing out at the moment could be the start of an impulsive wave in that ADO12 count 3. Then expect a wave 4 and then a wave 5. And if that is the case, then the minimum target areas for the third wave can be given by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that ADO12 count 1, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area at the Fib level 1.618, which perfectly lies above the 0 0.2766, 
then we can expect a wave 4 and then continue gearing up even higher in an area to have count 5. So that is the price action that I'm expecting. And for us to get confirmations that we have started that impulsive move in an area to have count 3, we need to break above resistance at the 0 0.0218 break above that with a retest and also break above the significant highs we made above the 0 0.2218 and the moment that plays out then there are high chances that we can easily see that massive bounce to the upside getting us back above the 0 0.27 so that is the price action that I'm expecting here on the GRT chart for the next coming hours and that's all for this video and I hope to catch you on the next one.